My name is uh, Sunny Eusebio. Um, I support production for tools and, and commodities they use uh, to do their work. And this was brought to my attention because of this HTS bits that they've been breaking when they're removing the, uh, the screws of the F-18 wings. So my goal is to document the the process that they're doing to remove the screws and come up with a solution to give them a better tool for the mechanic. We've probably been breaking about the ones, you know, for every wing, wing repair. I'm J.D. McLean. I'm at the Fleet Readiness Center, Southeast, NAS Jacksonville. Uh, this is an F-18 wing. With this tooling, we remove the screws from the upper skin and the panels. As you can see, it's installed, ready for use. Uh, we do about three to five of these every couple of months. Depends on our workload. In the past two weeks, we've done three. And there's approximately 1,400 screws per top skin on these inner wing panels. Uh, leverage, please. And, and we're going to move the screw right here. Give you an idea of how the tooling works. All right. Oh, uh, breaking it. The screw might be shanked into the anchor nut. Consequently, we have to put so much torque, and we don't know why exactly the torque value, but a lot of pressure with the pipe that will cause the end of the tip of the uh, tool to explode. And it just, and that's exactly what it does. It explodes, and it just flies in different directions like a little mini grenade. Normally when that happens, we'll end up having to drill the screw out because it's, it just won't come out by any other means. Uh, the apex brand, I'll call it, the one that has the apex written on the tip. We have very few of those ever explode on us. They might crack or, they'll, or, or crumble a little bit, but they don't explode like, like the other ones that we've been, been using. Um, this here's a number five. Normally, the ones that explode is the number four. We have more of those explode than we do the fives. But the fives will also explode. It's just a matter we have to put so much torque on the bit in order to get the screw to move that it, uh, it just causes it to disintegrate. And that's just like it does. It just disintegrates. Uh, we've had we freaking shrapnel out of our arms, out of our cheeks. But we, we'll have safety glasses on and, uh, that, and our protective equipment to protect eye injury. There's approximately three, sometimes four of us working on it, different, doing different aspects of it. Uh, we do use uh, an impact wrench, a uh, screw gun actually, to, and some of them will come out. A lot, a lot, newer screws will come out with the use of that. When they won't, that's when we go to this tool here. Uh, and on an average, it takes approximately 100, 120 man hours. And we have to dig sealant out of all these screw, screw heads. Each one of these screw heads that have seen it. Had a small hydraulic tubing filed off to a point, try to gouge in there. Some people use regular flat tip screwdrivers. Mm -hmm. uh, we've tried awls, we've tried just anything with an edge that looks like it'll fit in the groove, but this right here is uh, about the best. This has lasted through all the wings that we've done, probably 15 to 18 wings. Wow, that's great. Here's an example of when we've had to drill them out. Uh, the anchor nut's still in. Uh, once that happens, we just have to drive them through and fish them out later, then replace the gang channel or the anchor nut itself on, on the installation side of the house. Well, we had recommended a different screw head. Uh, we were told that they possibly use a different configuration on the F-15s. Probably salvage more screws or have less screws ruined or, or damaged if we had something that could reach in there and without it gripping. So, as many manufacturers of these screws can lead to a problem. The 
if we had a, a tool or if they eventually could change it over to a, a different type of head or a, a different type of screw, that would be more easily removed and installed. Uh, we could probably cut the turnaround time as far as skin removal and insulation probably in half or, or greater. We spent a lot of time uh, dealing with screw removal.